hi guys so this is the mutant c version 3 so i will make two videos extra to show you the full feature of the uh, uh, the pcb and the hard uh, the 3d part okay let's see the inside what's here so it's the same same procedure to open the back part so this is the PCB, this is the Raspberry Pi and this is the expansion port this is the dock button docking port yeah so this is the buzzer and this is the battery and charging module and the boost module so I also show you the PCB here so in the PCB I use uh, I ask C expander to you uh, to control the keyboard because I needed more pins for other features in the mutant C version 3 so I used uh, ISKC and the uh, and this one is suggested by Krill I don't know I'm pronouncing the name right and this is the docking port and this is the thumbstick PCB's uh, FPC connector and this side is the real-time clock now it's a mutancy you can use the real-time clock to wake up the mutancy in a certain time uh, this one is the gyro accelerometer uh, this one use this thing MPU 6050 module yeah you can just solder it here then then you can use the gyro and accelerometer with raspberry pi and do whatever you want with it with that feature and this one is temperature humidity and pressure sensor of the module this one use b uh, let me see here bme280 yeah bme280 this module and there are some switch to turn off the display now mutancy in mutancy you can turn off these two module also the expansion port and the display separately so three button to turn off and on these three things so this one is the, the pcb version 3 pcb yeah so so these are the expansion port uh, new expansion port comes uh, with mutancy version 3 you can use them with uh, version 2 also uh, because the pinout is same so this one is the prototype board I think you know yeah so this one has same module as the gyro MPU 6050 and LoRa yeah of course you can use LoRa so LoRa and this one is ESP32 and this one is the GPS uBlocks module so this is the U uBlocks module here so you can desolder this one and solder it here and use it like that will take much more less less space so for the LoRa yes you can make the mutancy communicate with other LoRa devices it will be easy using the ESP32 to control the home automation or something like that yeah you can use it this one mm, and this one module this one take whole U blocks module if you don't want to desolder this one reuse it for other purpose so you can use this one and this one is ESP8266 and this one is gyro and this one is HC12 radio module you can use it this one to control a uh, quadcopter or like uh, helicopter radio controlled helicopter radio controlled anything you can use this one HC12 module and this one is it has an RF this one NRF module this one also the uh, radio module you can either use a ESP8266 or an NRF module here and this one also have a Arduino Pro Micro same as 
what we use in the emergency so gyro LoRa of course again and this one is a temperature pressure and humidity BME 280 so you can turn off all the module here and all of them using the Raspberry Pi so they have switch separate switch for turning on and off all the modules yeah so so you just solder those things here like this yeah so let me show you first I will show you the uh, this prototype board because uh, I want to show you the expansion port turning on and off so you have to take out the SD card then put the expansion board here and put the SD card again and yeah so USB-C for charging and all the ports you can use either Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, Raspberry Pi 3 or 0 uh, your choice and this side is the same as two left and right button well, like yeah so this is the thumbstick to control the mouse left and right click and same keyboard as before I have the version 2 yeah so it's the same layout and same keyboard so and show you the the Raspberry Pi here so this is the new docking port so I use this part of the, this side in uh, to use the docking port because like if you want if you have three or four mutancies suppose so you can use make a 3d printed holder to just put down your mutancy like this and put down your uh, other mutancy here like separately one one another then you can charge them uh, all at a time and also you can transfer data from mutant C using the ISQC here, UART or TTL, also some GPIO and charging port and 5 volt and ground. Yeah, so it's it's 12 pin docking port. So that's the idea to have docking port in this side. So you can use multiple mutant C to charge them all at a time and transfer data from this mutant C others it's like if you are in the field so multiple guys using the meet and see they have separate meet and see so you can collect the data like this so just using the docking port yeah that will be cool I will looking forward I'm looking forward to make that one also so I will make another two videos as I said before to show off the hardware more and the circuitry of the software part so another thing is the sliding mechanism yeah I think you can hear yeah, the nice clicking so it doesn't fall off yeah let's turn on the you can see Yeah, so I'm using uh, core stuff as always to show the capabilities of the how can how uh, this is the best way to use a uh, small screen. So this is the thumbstick. See, I think you can see I can move the mouse easily. So you can uh, uh, set the how far the mouse will move with one click. I use 10 here so so let me show you the 
two parts is the turn on the display turn on of the display also you will hear the buzzer I use the buzzer to notify yeah so next I will show you the I think you can see a glowing light here so that's the expansion port LED yeah this one so I think no not this one maybe it's the second one so, yeah so you can see you can turn on and off the expansion port so that will reduce the power usage and you will get much out of your battery here yeah. I think you will get at most like eight hours if you use a uh, three thousand uh, above three thousand and five hundred milliamp hour uh, eight eighty six fifty battery here yeah. so this is the this is the buzzer yeah so yeah everything works great let me show you the some apps yeah, suppose yeah so this is the system file manager yeah so the, I use this one for the left click and this one for the right click so open in terminal let's see yeah so I can show you the kernel and, and this one is running the U name. So here you can see. So it's running Raspberry by four point nineteen kernel yeah so it's running raspberry pi so it's the official raspberry pi image raspberry pi os image i just use the display driver installed and all the core apps here so let's run fine so so i will work on the add-ons and make videos about those in future i uh, the version 4 will be later because I will more focus on the add-ons now on than making another version of the meet and see because it's much improved and really usable for in day to day life and use any other project you have uh, because the add-ons you can make your own add-on and use them as you like I saw many projects in Hackaday using LoRa module to make some uh, uh, chatting devices. You don't need it right now. You can use the Meet and See for we, we using the add-on and make your own uh, chatting device using radio or use ESP32 for controlling the home automation or use NRF module. To control your quadcopter so that's the beauty of the mutant C it's mutant can be anything if you want so just change the add-on then it will become a re remote control for your quadcopter change another thing it will become your home automation controller also also use both of them ESP32 Allura and NRF then it will be Three of them so that's the meet and see version 3 yeah I like the new locking mechanism it's very sturdy and I will talk about the nice 3d printed parts yeah this feels nice in hand also usable with one hand as you can see here 
yeah so i am looking forward um, to see your guys comments and uh, any question about it also the feedback if you have uh, put them in the comments i will appreciate uh, because of the comments from krill uh, i got it this i got some features in version 3 so i hope you will give me feedback and i will improve the meet and see for your needs yeah let's see what we can come with come up with for next version or new add-ons if you have anything in mind yeah so see you later guys thanks for watching